My heart is racing. Guys, we are still in Rwanda. Welcome to Rwanda, the land of a thousand hills. Yeah. So, so Miss like Trudy really loves this. Really if we can get some here, I can bring. Sorry? And today, guys, I'm going to take you to a very different place. We are going to the village today. Yes, guys, as you all know, I'm a village girl and everywhere I go, I really love seeing the villages so that I can compare to my Kenyan village. Guys, we are going to a Rwandan village today. <laughs> no, don't do that. This is a bridge. Okay, so stay tuned in, guys. And if you haven't liked this video, please give it a like. Guys, this is how a toilet looks like from the outside. You can see how tiny, short it is. And next, so where is the bathroom? So where is the bathroom? So guys, we are finally in Nexo village. I, I'm told it's called Gichumbe. And funny thing is that they are living on top of a mountain. So you have to go to that mountain. You see that mountain? This is where we are going and this is where we are. Thank God I have nice shoes. <laughs> Like landing. <laughs> so I really have to be energized and well fed because this is no joke. Just look at it from below here. That is where we are going. So guys, we are now here in the village, but you are not, not yet at Nexo's place. Uh, it's a hill, you guys. We are going on top of a hill. We stopped here. This is actually a village shop. This is how like a village shop looks like. So we're going, we are going to buy a few things and then we go on top of the mountain. I don't really know what you're going to buy, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you what we'll buy. Guys, I was starving. I just came from the house and just started the journey. So I decided to try something. This is something citron. I've never tried it before. <laughs> you don't have it in Kenya? No. Oh. Citron. It's I only citron. know. Yeah. It's like rim or rim, rim made, made of lemon. lemon. Yeah. yeah. And some biscuits. Before I, because I know like I have a mountain to climb. So. Yeah. so you guys need to be ready. So you can be ready to start climbing. <laughs> You know when you're going to the village you don't go empty handed so these are the things that we bought and since with the village we are going to is on top of a mountain guys uh, we had to hire someone to carry the things for us like to carry the things on top of a mountain i really didn't know where we were going until we started the journey so thank god we gave this pass this man the things to carry for us and he only charged us uh two dollars to carry the things and to the top of the mountain. <laughs> Marika, Marika Kenya. Kenya. Just... Guys, I'm sorry I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, now we are leaving the main road. Now, this is where the struggle begins. Actually, we are going there. You can see that, that, that tree thing. over there, that's where that's we are going. Point. So this is the road we are going to use. We just left the main road. And thank God today I have the tight oh, shoes for high. I'm Malika. Close, close. On your way to the village, you have to cross this river. It's not really a big river, but also it's not a seasonal river. Guys, this is a bridge. <laughs> no, don't do that. This is a bridge, guys. And you can see the types of bridges they have here. Like this is a bridge. I was told it's a community bridge. And just look at it. It's very, very strong. And no one was paid to... To build this bridge you know the community came in together and people contributed and others put in the work that is how they got this bridge it's a very strong bridge and a very unique bridge you have so much bananas in your country not really uh, Uganda yeah. Has yeah if you go to east mm -hmm. have big bananas. Oh. 
And the hiking began. Guys, you can see I'm already tired and we are not even a quarter away. Oh my god. These people live on top of a hill, the very top of a hill. I thought it was impossible until we got there. Guys, this journey was very, very hard. I think I'm very, very unfit or this was an extreme hill. An extreme hill because, guys, how I was feeling by now, you guys don't even want to know. I was so exhausted. I so now, the next season now from <laughs> September, it's going to be... Beans. At a point I felt like falling down and I even became very weak and dizzy. <sighs> Guys, Nexo is trying to explain to me why they have almost in every home they have a cross in front of the door. The reason as to why they have a cross in front of a door in most homesteads is just a symbol of Christianity. <laughs> so guys, these are arrow roots. And guys, can you believe I came across arrow roots like the ones we have here in Kenya? Yeah. So Mr. Like Mr. D really loves this. Really if we can get some here, I can bring. So let's bring Miss Trudy in one so she can try this. Yeah. Have it a lot, guys. <laughs> Remember, Miss Trudy loves arrow roots a lot. So. Oh, yeah. And this is this one is going to be red. The red one, mm -hmm. already you can just. Oh. Adjust. But this green one, mm -hmm. it needs like maybe some few weeks so you can harvest it. Okay. Because we we'll, we'll harvest it when it's like uh, red. Okay. Then if it's red, you go and grind it mm -hmm. or just check the industry mm -hmm. that they will make like this coffee. coffee for you. Yeah. And what's with the bananas? You know, like we have a lot of bananas. This is the here. bananas, uh -huh. and, but this one is not for eating. This is the one for, you know, banana. Oh, yeah, so this is has the one. to be eaten when it's yeah. light. When it's light, okay. that's where you can be able to eat. Oh, yeah. a lot of bananas. And the sun is here, guys. You know, for us, it's a must. Once you have the house here, mm -hmm. down to your house, you need to have bananas. Bananas there. Yeah, because we cook. Uh, we cook like uh, sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. traditional way using this, uh, the banana leaves. Oh, okay. So we'll cover it using that one. So ah. it's a must you need to have some bananas. Oh. Yeah. And the hiking continues, guys. G guys, do you know, like, I met, like, some older women going down, and I was like, are these women going to go up again in this hill? I was told, yeah, they are used to eat. They are used to eat. They can do that every day or not even once a day. Because it's in there, it's, that's where they live, they have to go down and they have to go up again. You know, they are so used to it and they are, uh, to me, they are very, very fit because at this point I was exhausted, guys. I was very, very exhausted. Guys, you can see how exhausted I was and I'm told we are not yet halfway, but we are almost halfway. At this point, I was so weak. I was so exhausted. I don't even know, I didn't have strength. I was feeling like just lying down, you know, or sitting down anywhere. Oh my God. I think hiking is not my thing. I just realized that. Guys, we have so many sources of water here and small, small streams. Like you can see this one is a mini bridge and we are still going up. Just look at where we are coming from. Guys, this is coming as it's becoming harder than I thought, guys. You don't even want to know what I was feeling here right now. I think hiking is not my thing. I'm confirming that. Hiking is really, really not my thing, guys. Oh my God, just look at me. I was exhausted. At this point, I was exhausted. I couldn't even breathe properly. I really think I'm very, very unfit. But this has nothing to do with me being unfit. You guys, this is a very... Is it steep? Do I say steep hill? But you guys, this was serious. Very, very serious. Marika, let's go. You guys, I'm doing all this to make a video for you and to show you this. And you can see how hard it is. Hard. So please, if you're still watching, please like this video. Please, just for your girls. 
I was even shocked when Nexo told me they used to go to school every day in the morning and come back for lunch and go back to school and come back in the evening using the same, same road, this road. And they were even running. Oh my God. Like, this is high point. I'm never hiking again in my life. I had to take some water because my throat was even becoming dry guys it was that serious <laughs> this is serious guys I saw this house and I thought that was it we are now here but I was wrong I was told now we are past halfway so we had to proceed and finally yeah <laughs> we are finally here oh my god guys you can see the relief on my face and I went to the audience We're finally here. After after 30 minutes, is it 30 minutes or even one hour? Yeah. It's so far. This is like we're on top of a hill, guys. <coughs> My heart is racing. My heart is racing. But I now feel good that we are finally here. This yeah. is where we are coming to. And thank God, while going back, we'll be going down. So, am I really happy? We'll find out about that. But I'm glad. So but you guys I just realized hiking is not my thing. Yeah, yeah I, I was I, I wanted to go hiking on Mount Kenya, yeah. but I think that is cancelled. <laughs> oh my god! You have tested your patience; it's cancelled. So, guys, we'll come back to my home, to my village. Yeah. And hope you're gonna enjoy everything. Wow, nice! This village of yours. We have nice houses, guys. Yeah. I, I was trying to spot a grass roofed house, you don't have but it. it's not even a single one. In Rwanda, you can't find this. Really? It's not possible. Oh, this is the government has bought what we call stock in your cuts, which is like if you have this glass house, yes. the government will give you the roofing and they will give you uh, the stuff you need your own house. Okay. That's why you find everything has this kind of house. Okay. We are finally here. I don't know. There's no. Sh there are no shops on top of these hills. So when you want to get something, you have to go down to get something and come back up. I'm just imagining when you go to the shop and then you realize you just forgot something. Ah, that is the day that I will just sleep without eating because going back down and coming back up again. Hey, not me. Guys, can you imagine these people don't use cement to build unless for decoration? Like they use mud to join in the bricks. Can you imagine that? And I'm being told the walls are usually very, very strong. And just like that, finally we are in a Rwandan village on top of a hill. How unique is that? You know, guys, my village is not on top of a hill. And that is why I really had a problem coming on top of Nexus village. But it's a beautiful village. The houses here are so nice. Guys, in an African village, as I told you earlier, greetings are very, very important. You have to greet your elders. It's a sign of respect. So I had to greet Nexus parents and they really welcomed us well. <laughs> and it was a bit complicated now because they speak in Rwanda and I don't speak in Rwanda. I can't even hear a single word in Kenya Rwanda. So Nexo had to be the translator to translate what you are saying, guys. But all in all, the parents are very nice people. 
guys so we had an interpreter i could say something and they interpreted i speak english and swahili and they only speak in rwanda guys what, what is your bathroom, bathroom? Have bathroom. Uh, where do you have bathroom where do you shower from just outside <laughs> this is the toilet yeah. Oh, this is the toilet. This is how the toilet looks, oh. and they are so tiny. I did a video of yeah, toilet. Yeah, tiniest toilet. Toilets. Like, it's so tiny. Guys, this is how a toilet looks like from the outside. You can see how tiny, short it is. And next, so where is the bathroom? So basically, mm -hmm. in the village, we don't have bathroom. So what we do, uh -huh. you just like uh, take like a like a place like. A piece of like clothes like mm -hmm. maybe kitenge mm -hmm. then you hide it somewhere and then you just take you shower, shower from them yes, from there from there because you don't have you don't have shower in the village you like to see me shower here in the, in village, the village outside actually <laughs> <laughs> like outdoor showers in the uh, village yeah oh my god yeah. let me know in the comment section below okay. this is a different type of terere yeah, this, this is like this is another form of dodo mm. Then from this side, mm -hmm. that's like, the, like my father's You see, we have this sugar cane. I'll take one of the pans, very average, this one. And then you can go with my chef or panga. Okay. And then you can get sugar cane. Yeah. That's so that's nice. Yeah, it's so this is your neighbor's house? This is my neighbor's house. Oh, wow. Potatoes are one of them, like in the village, it's a must you need to have beans, mm -hmm. sweet potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Oh, that is like a staple food here. Yeah. But, so look like smoked here. Yes, yes. And then you do that. Yeah. No, no, we don't do that here. Oh, just, like... just look at that view. It's so beautiful from here. But... <laughs> okay, so you guys, you are ready? Now let's go home. Okay, fine, Anna. Thank you. Thank you for having us. You guys so welcome. After hiking. <laughs> <laughs> you almost fainted. Yeah. You uh, hey guys, you try. You yeah. try. You almost had fainted. Uh, wow. So, guys, we are just here in the village. Yes. And let's go and explore, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is nice, actually. It doesn't look like a hill when you're here. Wait until you go outside. <laughs> That's the time that you realize that it's a hill. <laughs> it's very flat here, like here in your compound. Yeah. But wait until you go out. Yeah, basically, when you're just like going to be the house, mm -hmm. they just like take a hill and then on the, it's like a slope, but you find like you need to find a way that you can, you know, make it flat. Make it flat so oh, you can okay. be able to be the house. Uh. Yeah, so that's what we always do. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome, and she's so used to this because she got here yeah. earlier. We were it's together and she got here earlier. It's really easy for them, basically. Mm. Yeah. I was, honestly, I was tired going up and also coming down, guys. So let's see how it goes, guys. And I hope you're enjoying this video. If you're still watching to, till now, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And I'm sure you're enjoying watching you guys. You guys, my family, please subscribe. And let's get to 30k subscribers, guys, as we are almost there. And these people, they have to come down to get things from a shop. So, guys, you just be the judge. You be the judge and tell me what you think about this place. You tell me if you will be able to do it and tell me how I did. Did I do good? Did I try or did I, was I below average, average or above average? Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe guys. Bye.